Good morning, church, and I'd like to welcome you back to another day of devotions. Today, we're going to be in James again, and today, James chapter 3, and James chapter 3, verse 3, we'll look at that, and uh, before we begin, we'll just have a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you for your time, uh, for your word, for this time in your word, and I pray that you would uh, help us as we look into your word, that we would understand it, that we would uh, know uh, what you're trying to show us in your word, and I pray that you guide my thoughts, guide my words. And Lord, we thank you for all this in Jesus' name. Words have uh, the power to make changes that no other force really can make. Wars have started and have ended by a word. The, the tremendous power of words is compared to as a, a forest fire or a fire, the power that a, a fire has to destroy a forest. And in our text today, we're going to look at the power of words, the power of the tongue, and let's look here, verse 3. Behold, we put bits in the horses' mouths that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Behold also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listeth. Even so the tongue is a little member, and boast of great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity, and so is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and is set on fire of hell. God wants us to be aware of that great power that is held within our tongues. It's one of our smallest members, uh, there is there is much power in it for good and much potential for evil. And let me ask you today, what good could you be doing with your words? What impact could you make on someone's life today by using your words? And so today, just very short today, uh, just two points today, we're going to look at two dangers of the tongue. And the first danger we see is the control of the tongue. Uh, in verse 3, we see we put bits in the horse's mouths. And then verse 4, we, we see that the helm of the ship controls the ship. And then James makes the comparison here that the power that those little members have are able to even control uh, our lives and control how we live and how it affects others. The, the tongue, though it's so small, it's able to do a lot of uh, harm, a lot of good. And it's just like a kind of like a steering wheel of your car. The car without the, the steering wheel is very small. It's it's not very big in comparison to the car. Uh, when you get to like an 18 wheeler, the, the steering wheel is tiny compared to the rest of the vehicle. And so and it's not that important. It's very small, but it, it would be important without the steering wheel. You couldn't really go anywhere. You couldn't make decisions. You couldn't change where you were going to go. If you were veering into the left hand lane, you you would have no way to go back to the right hand lane. And the that little steering wheel is so important. It has so much control over the direction of the vehicle. And so our tongue is like our steer, steering wheel. It changes the direction of our life. It has control. And uh, we need to have control over our tongues or our tongues will control us. This is, this is to say that if we're not careful about how we use our speech, we'll end up saying something that will affect our lives. And we see James encouraging us here to control our tongues and our, e and our ears. He says in uh, chapter one here, he says to control our tongues and to control our ears by quickly listening and slowly speaking. It says in chapter 1, verse 19, we uh, skipped over this a few weeks ago, but it says here, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. And so James is encouraging these believers, slow down, don't speak so quickly. Think about what you're going to say. Listen to others. Listen to understand, don't just listen to have something to say uh, in, re in reply. So we see that first, uh, that first danger of the tongue is the control of the tongue. 
And then secondly, James makes this illustration here about how uh, great a matter a little fire kindleth. And we see the combustion of the tongue. In uh, verse 5 and 6, Even so the tongue is a little member and boasts of great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, and defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and is set on fire of hell. It, it reminds me of a couple of illustrations. Um, last uh, summer, springtime, and I guess... Uh, in the fall, uh, kind of this fire season in California, uh, there's so many fires. I forgot how many fires there were last uh, this last fall, I guess it was. Um, but some of them, small fires, they put them up pretty quickly, but some of them got very, very large. I remember uh, the one just, it was amazing to see how much land it had consumed. One of them, not the largest, but it was called the Walker Fire. Uh, I believe for the area it was uh, around it, it was reported, the day it was reported, uh, it was in the afternoon, just right after lunchtime, and this fire was only about five acres, and just, it was in a, in a forest of about five acres, burning that, and when the firefighters got and seen, that's how much there was, and by the evening, there was over 750 acres burning in, in just half a day, and then... By the end of that fire, it was one of the top three, I believe, fires uh, that season. It burned nearly 55,000 acres of forest and houses and different communities were affected by it. In just three weeks, uh, it burned over 55,000 acres. And it was all just started by one little flame, one little spark. They don't uh, know exactly how it started, but they uh, they guess that maybe it was an electrical issue or something, and that little spark caused so much damage, 55,000 acres almost. And then I also think about, uh, we think about the spread of the virus, and just any virus can be spread so easily, so quickly, and it, it multiplies, it starts with one person, and then it goes to two, and then four, and eight, and just depending on how contagious could be, the, the spread of a virus is like, the spread of a fire is so quickly it's hard to control and James is trying to make that comparison here that the spread of a fire the spread of a virus in my illustration here is is how much uh, danger potential for danger is in the tongue one person one person's actions can affect a multitude one person's words can affect a multitude of people and he warns, us, he warns us that our tongues can cause great danger to those around us and to ourselves. We can use uh, fire, we can use it to destroy, and we can also use it to warm and to cook food. We can cook food on fire, warm our houses. Uh, there's, there's a lot of good that can come from fire when it's used right. And so we can use our tongues, it is a fire. We can use it to encourage. It, uh, it says in... Proverbs 12, 25, we can, we can use the power of our tongue, tongue to encourage others. It says here, Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. There's, there's going to be someone, there has to be someone today that if you were to send them a kind message, that it would make their heart glad. It would make them happy that they heard from you, that they heard something encouraging from you, that could change the course of their day, that could change the course of their week, maybe even have an impact on the rest of their life. You can use your words to encourage. And so we see just shortly today the control of the tongue and the combustion of the tongue. So how can you use your tongue for good today? How can you uh, be able to encourage someone? What message could you send to someone who you want to encourage, who might need encouragement, someone who's going through uh, some difficulty right now, being alone, uh, someone who, who needs some help, just uh, encourage someone today. And then remember uh, what effect that your words can have on someone that they might think about it for the rest of the day. It might change their attitude for the rest of the day. And it has, our tongue has much potential for good and for evil. So let's remember that today. Thank you for listening and I hope you guys have a great day.